We have arrived at the school spirit season finale after dodging so many suspects in the death of Maddie. The Houdinic conflicts are being fought from a variety of perspectives, with Maddie's mother currently taking front stage. Who is Maddie's killer? Maddie is seated on the school's roof when the episode opens. Of course, in the background, Simon is spying about her mother's home to see if he can uncover any evidence that she was the one who killed her. Simon eventually located the envelope she had been concealing while rummaging about the house. Her mother asked Simon whether he had discovered what he was searching for before leaving, and he said that he had. What did the envelope contain? It had been a necklace, the necklace Maddie was wearing, but when she entered the afterlife, she had taken it off. As a result, Maddie tells Simon to send her mother to the school so that she may check on her for lying. Nicole, Claire, and Xavier talk about ways to free the caretaker from prison without being found out. Wally is being questioned by Maddie on how he would feel if the person who was meant to be your protector really injured you. Wally is now consoling her. Mr. Martin is evasive about what happened, which is making it difficult for the afterlife team to determine what happened to Janet. She and Mr. Martin both passed away on the same day, according to an old newspaper item the team finds. Simon took Sander to the school so she could receive a prize on Maddie's behalf. She starts to feel a bit overwhelmed as he makes discreet inquiries and wants to depart. But before she could go, he queries why she had Maddie's jewelry. All of this is bringing up old memories for Maddie. Sandra had come to the school after leaving treatment to inform Maddie that she had purchased them a little house with the funds received for the passing of her father. Maddie panics since she needed the money to pay for education. Did Maddie's mother murder her? No, Maddie wasn't killed by the mother. When Maddie confronts her mother about the money, she yells at her for being so ungrateful ever since their father or husband went away. She told her to go and never come back as she took off her jewelry. Sandra took the necklace with her when she departed, which is why she had it. Maddie then clears her mother's name in the murder by claiming that she is speaking the truth. Maddie informs Mr. Martin that she could be prepared to write her obituary when he approaches her after her mother has finished speaking. Xavier and Claire make the decision to go inside the house to look around as Nicole, Xavier, and Claire are camped out in front of a house. In the meantime, Claire notices someone entering the home and runs inside herself. A chain of events results in the individual getting into the truck, backing into Xavier, and driving off. Charlie and Wally find evidence suggesting Mr. Martin started the fire. Rhonda confesses that she was aware of all of Mr. Martin's secrets as they discuss everything. The group, however, is then imprisoned in their chamber. Maddie says she drafted her obituary and wants Simon to read it as he enters the gym. The only person who has ever been there for him, she sobs, was Simon, and she realizes that's why she can talk to him because he was the only one who gave more than he would receive. Simon responds by revealing Maddie and Nicole's footage of the getaway driver, which she had captured. He admits to her that he doesn't know what's going on but that he has to stop. What on earth is happening? Explain. School Spirit Season 1's finale. A flashback shows Maddie sobbing after her mother departed and hearing screams. When Maddie opened the door, Janet had already left the room and Mr. Martin was screaming at her. Janet's spirit then ate Maddie. She hears Wally, Charlie, and Rhonda yelling and attempting to open the door. You can't trust him, they yell, and as she answers, she looks around and spots Mr. Martin. Maddie, is she dead? Maddie is still alive. In Maddie's body, Janet purchases a bus ticket to depart the city as the season comes to a close. Janet has therefore spent the whole season hiding the fact that she is Maddie in order to lead a new life. What an amazing turn of events. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.